Evening Prayer on Saturday the 29th of August. In returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. For all the good I have seen and done today, I give thanks. For all my sins and omissions, I ask pardon. For all whom I pray, I claim protection. Some verses from Psalm 91. If you dwell under the shelter of the Most High, and abide in the shadow of the God of heaven, you need not be afraid of any terror of the night or trouble that goes about in the darkness. God says, those who love me, I will rescue. I will protect those who know my name. When they call out to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and treat them with honour. With length of days, I will satisfy them and I will show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Circle me this night, keep peace within, and anger without. Circle me this night, keep comfort within and hardship without. Circle my home this night, keep safety within and danger without. My life is in your hands, hold me gently as I rest. Amen. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O God, Make me dwell in confidence. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Master, now you are letting your servant go according to your word in peace. For my own eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the light of all peoples, a light of revelation for the nations and glory for your people Israel. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O God, make me dwell in confidence. Let us pray. Promised one, come to those whose need is great. Heal the sick, restore the dispirited, and embrace the dying. This evening we pray for those who are looking for employment and we pray that they find work soon. We think of all of those enjoying the last weekend together before schools return next week. We pray for all who are bereaved. We pray especially for the soul of Christine Arthur. Give strength to her husband Kevin and to her family and friends. Lord Jesus, put your loving arms around them. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.